I was at Vivek. He was soon in action, heading on a corner, which the other new boy, Lenny John Rose, twice headed back into the middle as the Quakers' defence struggled. Kevin Savile scored a stylish penalty to earn Poole a point, but it should have been three. Two did, however, carve out a second chance in the final minute. He escapes from two defenders before firing it through keeper Vince Bartram. 2-0 to Poole. Now and Murray's side are determined to maintain their unbeaten start to the season, and this was a classic example of switching from defence to attack. Andy Savile was involved as the ball found Nicky Southall on the right. The number 11 crossed for Lenny John Rose. He confused keeper Nigel Adkins, and Savile made the ground to waltz round the defenders and slide home the equaliser. Still Hartlepool refused to lie down, and with just seconds on the clock, they began a great build-up which led to the equaliser. John Rose worked a neat move with substitute Paul Proudlock on the left. And when he crossed from the byline, Savile was at the near post to guide the ball past Adkins. A point for Poole. They're now sixth in the table. However, the result of it all was a penalty kick and a familiar face here to fans of Hull and Barnsley. It's Andy Savile taking the penalty and taking it very coolly as well for Hartlepool. Get across it, I'm sure. It's got Savile and Proudlock in the box waiting. Plays it out wide to cross. Now Emerson chips it in. And Savile totally unmarked and he follows it up and scores. Well, that's it. 2-1 to Hartlepool. And what a disaster for Bolton. A penalty, four minutes from time, confidently struck by Andy Savile, saw Hartlepool through to that home tie. From then on, it was all Hartlepool. The second goal, four minutes later, a simple tap-in for Andy Savile. Southport's defence had gone to pieces by this stage and Savile made it look easy with his second goal. Five minutes later, he sealed the match with another, his first ever senior hat-trick, and what a game to get it in. But Hartlepool still found time to squeeze in a fourth, sub Nicky Peverell with the mudlark, Stuart Ford couldn't make it stick, Andy Savile seals an overwhelming victory. Man of the match, John Rose made the third, pulling the ball back from the goal line for Andy Savile to blast his shot into the roof of the net. John Rose played a big part in Hartlepool's equaliser. First he won the ball for David Johnson, then he picked up the clever return to set up his frontline partner, Andy Savile. He was on his own and finished off a great move with ease. What a great spell he's having. Foul, it's a free kick, and Andy Savile places the ball on the spot, and Crystal Palace are stunned. Nigel Martin to face Hartlepool's top goal scorer Andy Savile. The second division side lead against the team from the Premier League. But it will a minute or so later. Now savour this. Ryan Honor, that midfield workaholic, has kept on battling through it all. He finds Andy Savile, a clever dummy, and so cool a finish. Pressure? What pressure? 1,227 minutes since Savile's and Poole's last goal. Well, wouldn't you go crazy? And Andy Savile, whose penalty knocked out Crystal Palace all those weeks ago, scored again from the spot for the fifth time this season. The ever-willing Brian Honor set up the goal, and what a strike. A Savile special that flew high past Lang. <laughs> 